hello guys welcome back so in this video i'm going to show you how you can download oracle database on your windows pc that is sql plus which is a great tool to learn sql mysql okay so without wasting time what i will do is i will go to a new tab so i will type download oracle database i will press enter you can see the first link here that is oracle database software downloads right you can go to this link and if you scroll down you can see run oracle database 23 free on linux 21 xc on windows and oracle database 23 c free container images with docker so what you do is you go with this middle one that is run oracle database 21 c express on windows you can see here the download of uh, oracle database xc for windows zip right you can go and you can click here it will ask you to save this file in your internal uh, directory you can save this file and you will notify it from here that is the file is getting downloaded okay so what you do is you can download this from here or you can also download this from one more site i will tell you where go to the new tab and search for oracle database download and type geeks for geeks if you search for this you will get one link that is how to install sql plus on windows so go to this web page and you will get this particular website that is how to install SQL Plus on Windows. This is an article written by someone in Geeks for Geeks. You can either use this one or you can go directly with this one, right? Here you can see that there is a link that is file browse to this link. If I click on this link, you will be redirected to file. Here in this particular site, you will find the same softwares, but these are like published illegally okay so you can download from here as well but that's not much secure if you download from the particular official then it is much secure but uh, if you don't know how to download and how to install from the main particular official website what you do is go to this particular website that is file host and uh, you will get this uh, oracle database express and here is a free download you can download from here or you can download from here then after downloading this what you do is Go to this particular web page that is uh, geeksforgeeks.org where uh, they have explained you by step by step how to download this. Okay, so you here you can see this step one first browse to this link. Okay, I have browsed to this link and I have downloaded. Then we have to click on the download button on the right side. I have shown you how to download the file. Then here you can see the same web page I have shown that they are asking to download from clicking this button that is free download. Then step three here it is asking for again start download. Then after doing that then downloaded zip file there will be a setup.exe file we have to click it and run it okay let's say i have already downloaded that's why uh, i just cancelled the downloads uh, then after downloading the file what you do is move on to the folder where we have saved the file here you can see two files one is oracle xe213 underscore win64 so this file won't be exist only this file will be exist when you download this i have saved it in another folder if you have downloaded it go to your download section and find find for this file that is oracle xc213 underscore 64 right after browsing to this what you do is just right click on this and extract all click on this extract all option then uh, based on your particular folder what you do is you select the directory root then click on extract as i already extract the file i don't extract as for now i will cancel it out after extraction it will take some times and particular folder will be created here you can see oracle xc213 and underscore win4 this is a folder this is a zip file so please make sure that you are opening the particular folder only after extracting okay so this is a folder right i will what i will do is i will double click on this here you can see setup file and your also you can see oracle database 21c express edition and some other files as well what you do is you can click on either setup or you can go for oracle database 21 c express edition both will do the same what i will do is i will click on this particular windows installer you can see your windows installer package right you can run these as well there is no issues i will click on this and here you can see a pop-up window has arised welcome to install the field or uh, install shield wizard for oracle database 21 c express edition then we will click on the next option then here you can see you will uh, see some license agreement if you want you can read this otherwise what you do is just click on this i accept the terms in the license agreement after doing this what you do is just click on the next here it will see where to install this particular product here you can change the directory if you want i will keep this as the default 
then i will click on next here it is asking us to create a new password and particular uh, particular password and the password will be used for this system and a uh, particular pdb admin right what you do is create a password and make sure that you remember this password because it is useful while you are uh, uh, logging to your particular uh, database once it is installed okay i will create my own password create your own password and remember that one after clicking this and also remember these things that is this password will be used for sys system and pdb admin okay so these are like usernames you can keep use these particular usernames and this particular user password which we have created to log into your database and after doing this what you do is click on the next and it is asking us to install i will install this you can click on s there is no issues with this after clicking on s you will you have uh, you will be shown with particular status bar it will take uh, some little of time and it will install the software for us just wait until particular software has been installed Two thousand years later okay guys so uh, as you can see oracle database installed successfully you can see here it has all uh, it almost taken around 20 to 25 minutes to install this completely so please have patience patience don't do anything stupid and uh, put it on download and just go and do some things till this got downloaded okay means installed this takes a lot of time but still it taken around 20 to 25 minutes so okay it has been installed so we will click on finish rather than going with this particular oracle database 21 express edition just click on setup uh, and install try to install this then it will uh, show this pop up window that is installer then you can proceed with this as well same as like that one only so what you do is after installation go do this particular search search uh, box and uh, type sql plus you will get this particular software now here it is asking for uh, enter username right you can ask username like sys because uh, i have uh, mentioned you earlier that uh, they have mentioned sys system and one more pdb admin right after that uh, they are asked you to create a new password and re-enter the password right so you can type sys here and just put on enter then it will ask you for the password then type the password which you have created there i have created one password and also i have entered but still it is not showing here because it won't show you the password if you typed it correctly then press enter you can see here it is connection as sys could not be as sys dba or sys opal right try with this particular username that is system then put password which we have created there i have created one password there what i will do is i will put the same password here i have entered the password but still i can't see the password here because uh, it has been disabled uh, you can't see the password if you typed it password uh, type the password correctly just press enter yeah! you can see here last successful login time this and the database that is oracle database 21c express edition release particular production version it is connected right connected to particular oracle database now you can go for a particular sql queries you can type it here and you can uh, create your particular database you can uh, do any more things related to the sql database so this is how you can install oracle database on your windows pc hope this video is helpful for you if you like this video please like the video and uh, if you share this video to your friends it will be more helpful for them as well as for me so thank you for watching this video we will meet in the next video till then take care bye bye